आज एटा प्रस्तुत करना पाक में हमी धन्य महसूस करद जिसको शीर्षक बुद्ध को अगिलो जन्म राजा महान पूर्ण ज्योति को रूप में छाग मध्य को भाग दुई गुरु रिष्य मस कार्यक्रम में जो अंग्रेजी भाषा में सेप्टेम्बर बाहर दुई हजार पंद्रह में फ्रांस में दी को थी <笑>非常好非常啊哪有非常好是还不给的非常之比较多一点我们中国人是简单嘛他们文班主任当然也许不会比家里好了不过我们中国人是简单嘛怎么样都可以接受的你们还安静吗安静吗 喜欢这里吗？喜欢，简单的生活哈，几天而已嘛。回家告诉大家，师傅爱他们。OK，谢谢师傅，谢谢师傅，都很爱师傅。就是没办法，什么人都卖房了，呀，没有办法。OK，即
who's uh, sometimes uh, due to some different regions, it's not convenient to travel around the world, or not easy to get visa to travel, people in those countries, or just recently have more convenience and more uh, way to travel, and they appreciate it more when they can come, for example, to see me. Or when they stay home, they practice truly diligently and earnestly and sincerely. And therefore, they have more, uh, more experience inside, more spiritual vision inside, and more experience even da daily life outside than, than some of uh, the initiates who are in a conveniently traveled country. They do not appreciate it too much because they can go and come anytime. So they feel it is, they feel it's a natural thing. <laughs> uh, when I was in the ashram in India, there are also many, um, like some master. They have also different disciples, yeah? the Western disciples. They don't. According to my observation, they didn't have as good experience as you have. I mean, in my group, generally speaking, the the convenient traveling or not convenient traveling. You understand? I just don't know why, but it's like that. For example, the Westerner in in our group uh, have more experience than the Westerner in other group. Even the same method in India, even I mean. Mostly people think uh, Indian masters are more, you know, original, and I'm up original. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes they they believe they go there more, you know. But uh, I have have observed that the Westerners, who are not rooted much in the tradition of uh, meditation practice, in other group, and same in our group, but the uh, the Westerner here has more experience inside experience and outside experience, a spiritual experience as well as daily a blessing experience, yes. And compared to the Westerner in my group, the, the one in, in some reason uh, normally are not easy to travel, or uh, just recently being more easy to travel, they have more experience than the, the people, or the Westerner or the people who stay in, in easy travel country. So just they are different, different category, huh? <laughs> yeah. So I said to them, they should make use of this. Uh, any situation, you know, sometime in adverse situation, make use of that. Yeah. Then you can, you can progress quicker and better. Hmm? What matter is inside? Yeah, matters inside. So therefore, we should not always complain that okay, our country is not uh, free for to travel around, or our country is too poor. Anything, anything, anything is good for you. You are born, you are placed in that situation for your own good. Yeah, we should not complain. We should use it for our own inside development. Yeah, the outside, of course, is important that we have enough comfort. Just enough is enough, mm -hmm. and whatever we can spare, we give it to others who are less fortunate, so that in the future we don't have to experience what we experience right now. We we have better life if we are reborn again, if we want to be reborn again. But as you know, with this uh, practicing of the inner heavenly light and sound. We don't have to be reborn again. Hmm? If you practice and keep the five precepts, I told you, I promise you, you will not go back to this life. Unless you want it to, for some reason. <laughs> know what? <laughs> Very wise. <laughs> Very wise. <laughs> yeah. You want to follow Master? Huh? You want to follow Master? Follow Master to heaven, okay. <laughs> Uh, some people, sometimes they, they, when you went up there and maybe you think it's so suffering here, you want to come back to help some people. 
But then, then she shake your hand. Why? Why? No? No one. <laughs> why? Why? No, in, just in case like that. Why you don't want? I think it's good not to be here anymore. <laughs> too risky, right? It's too risky. You're right. You're right. Because Absolutely. what if I come and there's no monster around? <laughs> It's too risky. You're right. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. The Buddha. There was one story that is too, too terrible. I did not want to read it to you. Many stories I read to you are very, very, very terrifying and sad already. But there's one story I avoided in the book that I had. The many stories I had. I avoided to read to you up to now. But since you say you don't want to come back here <laughs> to help someone else, just I say just in case you wanted to, then you can, because you don't have to. But you have the choice, because you're free. You're a free soul. You can come back or stay there, you know, in heaven. And then the Master will keep lifting you up until you're completely free and never, ever have any karma at all. But in case, you know, what I mean is, in case you want to come down, because some people like to come and help somebody, who knows, then then you can. <laughs> Do it at your own <laughs> risk. <laughs> because Why are you crying, love? I, I don't want to get trapped again. You don't want trapped again, <laughs> you're right. I want to help the people, but Very wise. can we get trapped? Yeah, you will. Then I don't want to you can. <laughs> get trapped. Okay, good. Then I tell you the story of this of the Buddha, okay? But I will make it less, I don't know, I will try to make it less terrible, but I'm not sure if I can. I don't need the book, I know the story. Because it was too, too beyond my imagination, beyond beyond anything that I could bear. So I, it's impressed impressed in my memory that I won't forget, <laughs> so I don't need the book to read it to you. But it was also the, the story from Anand, eh? Say, thus I have heard, etc., etc., etc. We should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who have taken time to record what the Buddha is teaching after the masters and Nirvana. And also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who have really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten direction all respectfully before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or, you know, beautiful cloth and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. But at least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. A long, long time ago, the Buddha was... In, uh, no, at that time, the Buddha was in such and such country that I forgot, the, in such and such ashram. It doesn't matter, okay? Yeah, somewhere in India then, in one of his ashram that people built for him. And there was a story about the... Uh, oh, I better get the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to make it more authentic, you know? Yeah, I know the story, I just can't remember the, the place where the Buddha was. 
and I just want to make it authentic. And I still try, I will try to modify it so that it doesn't sound terrible. But all of you can hear the translation, you know, squeeze together so you can hear translation, okay? And you'll get the book. Where is that story that I don't want to ever read? <sighs> Now I have to find it because I didn't mark it. I didn't mark it. I did not want to read it because it's number one. Uh, it's too much animal cruelty. Too much beyond my my imagination. Number two, I didn't want to scare you if, in case you want to become Buddha. Hmm? When you were very far away, did you get my voice at all? No. Uh, yeah. And here you can, right? Yeah. Before, when I just came out, I sing Buddha's chanting, mm -hmm. and I can stretch my voice forever. <laughs> uh, yeah, almost. <laughs> Thank you. And the voice has more clarity, huh? Yeah. I don't have that much clarity of the voice, and I cannot stress my voice very long anymore. Mm, lucky, I still have my voice. I have my voice. Without my voice, I think <laughs> it will be very much troublesome for me and for you, huh? Yeah, I can write, but it takes too long to write. I hate writing. <laughs> <laughs> but can you hear me behind there? How you translate? You can. Wow! Wow! I'm impressed. Your ears are good like a dog. <laughs> a dog's ear are very sensitive, yeah? Mostly human ear cannot. Yeah. Can you say something behind there, the Chinese translator? Say something? Huh? Say anything. Hello, master, whatever. I cannot hear anything. So, your ears are good. One time. The Buddha had been a Buddha for aeons, you know, since time you cannot even imagine. Hmm? Since times immemorial, the Buddha has already become a Buddha. But he returned as a normal person, normal human, in order to save some beings, some human beings or other beings that he has affinity before and not been able to save yet. You know, at, in the time that he has, he was a Buddha. He could not save these people because the time has not come. Yeah, their affinity was not ripe yet. Okay, so he returned again as a Buddha, like Sekamoni in the Shakya clan, became friends, etc., etc. He became Buddha again, huh? After 49 days sitting on the Bodhi tree, six year practice, etc. But before that, many lifetimes before that, he has been reincarnated again and again and again. You know, I just make a summary. As uh, humans, as king, prince, even heavenly god, and even animals, yeah? Etc., etc. Mm.